we're in volume eight. See? Volume eight, and we are at part one, story two, Sick Woman Healed. Okay. Then it says, one day as Jesus was teaching uh, teaching on the beach by the Sea of Galilee, he saw a man push his way through the crowd. The man seemed to be in a, in a great hurry and very much upset about something. Pardon me, please. Please let me pass, he was saying. I must get through to Jesus at once. Make way. Please make way. It is very urgent. It was Jarius. J A I R U S. Jarius, the ruler of the synagogue. And he was, was troubled about his little girl. Falling to his knees before Jesus, he told him what had, what the matter, what, what was the matter, and earnestly begged him to help. My little girl is at the point of death. He cried, Please come lay your hands on her so that she may be made well and live. Jesus' heart was touched. He knew what it would have meant for the ruler of the synagogue to kneel and ask him for help. How great must the man's love for his little girl. I'll go with you, said Jesus, and Jarius was delighted. But as they, as the two started on their way, the crowd surged around them. It was, it was hard to make any progress. So many people wanted to get close to Jesus, to look at him, to touch him. They had not gone very far when suddenly Jesus stood still. Who touched my clothes, he said. It was a strange question, with so many hundreds of people pushing and shoving about him. The disciples were surprised. How can you ask who touched you when there are so many people around you? They said. But Jesus knew somebody had touched him, somebody in great need, somebody whose, whose faith had already drawn healing power from him. He looked around. Who of all these many, many people could it be? Then he saw her. There was no mistake who it was. Tears of joy and thankfulness were running down her cheeks. Jesus understood. He smiled at her while she fell down before him and told him all the truth. And then it has uh, a little painting of the woman grabbing a hold of his coat. Just the bottom of his coat. You know. Everybody else is touching it on and, and everything. But she believed that just touching him, she would heal. Be healed. And she's been very, very sick for, uh, I think the uh, Bible says 12 years. And, and she couldn't be in the city at all those 12 years because she had to live outside the city. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to read. <laughs> it says, it's what it says. Okay. She had been sick 12 years, she said. All this long time she had gone from one doctor to another without getting any help. She had spent all her money on doctor's bills, and still, the bleeding from which she had suffered continued. Then she said to herself, "If I may touch his garment, I will be. I shall be made. I shall be whole." So, that she touched him. <clears throat> it was only a light touch on the hem of his garment. She hadn't meant to trouble him, for she knew he was too busy looking after all the other needy people. 
And then, all of a sudden, she had she had felt better. Just like that. Her wound was healed. The bleeding had stopped. She knew for it for sure. And she was so thankful, so very, very thankful. Jesus was thankful too. Thankful that somebody had trusted him so much. I think, I like to think that he gently patted her, patted the poor woman on the head as she knelt, knelt there before him. Daughter, he said to her, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. The woman disappeared in the crowd, but not from his, but not from history. Somebody saw and heard what happened and wrote it down, so that you and I today may know that we may reach out to touch him by faith in every time of need. And then it had a modern picture of a girl praying on a modern bed and uh, like a spirit of, of Jesus on it or their representation of Jesus. And this was a very short story also. Where We need to hurry up and get back to that little girl. This was during the walk. Okay, and that's the end of part one, story two. So it's time for the break, and then I'll be back in a little bit, and we'll see what, what's going to happen yet.